Rosie, Bomalaska is a classic dessert. It's ice cream with some sponge around the outside and then you pipe an Italian meringue on the top of it. And what you would do, because it was originally called a baked Alaska, you would put it into the oven and it would caramelise on the outside, take it out. And the trick would be, when you get it out there, would be to flambe it with some brandy. It would burn and become a light and you'd walk into a dark room and you'd have this flaming bomb Alaska, cut up, serve it, delicious dessert. But we're going to do it a different way. We're going to actually blowtorch it, which is a lot easier. Great. The blowtorch, I'm always quite interested. Now I'm going to do a little twist. I'm going to use some gelati, which is is beautiful. I love gelati. Me too. It's one of the most uh, most delicious things. Now, as you know, one of the most important things is to make sure that the products you are using are of tip-top quality. So I it's hear always you. I good hear idea. You, Take a little scoop out of the top of it. And when you are serving ice cream and gelati and gelato, the trick is to get it out of the freezer, let it come up to temperature a little bit, mm -hmm. so it scoops nicely. Mmm. Yum. I think we should just continue Very on. Good. No, we, no, we, Very good. What's we, next? We'll be here. We'll be here doing this all day. Now you've got a big bowl here, and this is where the actual dish gets its name from. This shape bowl is called the bomb. It's not the bomb. It's a bomb. And what I'll do is line it with cling film, and then pop the ice cream, the first layer, in the middle. So I pop the strawberry in the bottom, and I've got some beautiful, lightly salted caramel macadamia. Delicious Salted well. caramel, that's a, I mean, that's very trendy. We're talking about trends. Out comes the spoon. I'm not going to double dip. You can double dip if you want. And we need I to am. check this one as well, make sure it is delicious. Mmm. Correct. Oh, scoop, scoop that out. And you can see, because I've left it out of the freezer for just a few minutes, it's that perfect... Nothing worse than hard ice cream, is there? Oh, can't no, not get at all. in there. Now, of course, we've got our lovely little coconut flavour. Oh, I must I... try this one. I oh, know, you love that a lot. <laughs> Have a little taste of that. This is the best part of it. And you can see, if you're making this with kids, mmm. Vegan friendly. The coconut gelato is beautiful. I'll just pop that on there like that and spread that around and make sure I get it all over the top. Now, you want to smooth it down reasonably well and just yep. sort of run the spoon. I'll grab another spoon here. Run the spoon over the outside here till it smooths itself down nicely. Now, the cling film I'll just put over the top here like that so we don't get any frost from the freezer. We'll separate some eggs, make the Italian meringue. This will be a cracker. Now, Rosie, making Italian meringue is quite simple. It's just a couple of ingredients, but you've got to boil some sugar and get it to 121 degrees Celsius. To start with, I'm going to get you to separate four eggs, yolks in one, yep. whites in the other. And for once, we're going to use the whites because that's going to make it nice and fluffy. Yep. The yolks, what we do is put a bit of cling film on top of it and pop it into the fridge and we'll come up with another recipe later on. Now, the Italian meringue is quite easy to do. What you have to get done first is you've got to get some sugar melting and we need to boil that up to 121 degrees Celsius. So I've got 300 grams of sugar in there and I add about 200 mils of water and just stir it around just a little bit until the water dissolves that sugar. Pop the heat on. This is how I bind it all together and hold it together and make it a little bit more stable. I add a teaspoon of glucose and glucose is, mm -hmm. you can see that, beautiful. Just pop that in there on the side there, that will go down. The sugar will start to boil up with yep. the water. The water actually evaporates and you end up with these large bubbles. Now the trick is to get it to the right temperature and that's where I use a digital thermometer. Once it starts boiling, I'll pop this in and I know that when it gets to 121 degrees Celsius, it's ready to use. Now Rosie, you're going to pop the egg whites into the bowl there and then close it off. We'll get it turning around till it becomes a nice soft peak and I reckon the sugar should be ready to go. Once this is at a soft peak, we'll pour in that sugar and the sugar actually cooks the egg white, gives it a really good shine and holds it really well and a tip is you could actually make it the day before pop it in the freezer and it holds really really well now Rosie you're gonna whisk up the egg whites I'm gonna keep an eye on this but while I'm doing that I reckon I'm gonna have a little taste of this off you go you do that and I'll eat the ice cream this is hard work isn't it Rosie, I've got everything ready. The Italian meringue is already in the piping bag with the nozzle. The bomb I've just taken out. I'm just going to let it sit there because it'll stay nice and cold while it's still in the bowl there. Got all my berries here in bits and pieces. I am going to blow the algorithm off Instagram. You've got no chance, Rosie. There we go. Now, the lid goes on here. What I'm going to do is get the right size for my, uh, for my sponge. And yeah. a great tip is to use a similar bowl to the one you've actually made the bomb in. There we go. And I'll just turn down the bottom here and I'll just cut around the bottom there. Just mark it. 
You like that? Yeah, very smart. Nice and clever. This is a very simple sponge that you can make nice and easily. Cut around there. There we go. Pop that little baby up there and pop this one out here. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, it's a great You know, I'm just staying calm, ready for my blood sugar go. to go. Your blood sugar? Up we go. What's that? That's the good stuff, isn't it? Now, the sponge goes on the bottom here. And to make it even more flavoursome and delicious and lovely, I've got a little bit of brandy here. Ooh, cheeky. It helps to soak that sponge so it digests a hell of a lot easier in your stomach. There we go. That's what the brandy's for. And you can see this is a great sponge because it just soaks up yep. all that lovely You'd brandy. you make a great nutritionist. I think nutritionist, what's that? <laughs> the nutritionist is the person that tells you all the things that you can't have. There we go. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Rosie, can you grab that bowl and just pull the bottom <laughs> off that one there? I'm saying all the wrong things. I know I'm just, just completely wrong. There we go. Now, just remove the cling film and cling film is your friend because it helps to wrap things up. I'm going to grab the plate there and just flip that over like that. There we go. On it goes. Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful. I'll just slide that over just a tiny bit like that. Make sure it's smooth down around the edges because we want to make it nice yeah. and tasty. And then a little bit of sponge on the top there. And to make that sponge even more delicious, we're going to pop a little brandy. Now, as I said before, what you would usually do is once you pipe the meringue on the outside of it, you would turn an eggshell upside down in the top of it, yep. pour the brandy in to that just give it a bit of a light and as you walk into the room you give it a bit of a shake like that the brandy falls down the side of it and then caramelizes it that is dangerous to do and i don't recommend doing that at all <laughs> that's why we put the brandy on the inside it's a lot safer and that sponge just soaks love it all it. up by the brandy seven-year-old me is screaming inside like, with excitement oh, you love this yeah now using a piping bag is quite simple this is the hand that does all the work this hand here does the guiding. So yep. you can have a bit of fun with it and pipe it any way you want. I'm just going to start with a big curl around the top of there like that. And then I'm just going to go up the side here. Rosie, you're going to turn the plate around for me. There we go. Just turn the plate around as I go around. That's it. And I'll just go up the side. Now, whatever you want to do with the piping bag is up to you. And I'll just do a little one in there and up the side. It takes a minute or so till we get it all the way around. It's a lovely way to spend an afternoon. It is, isn't it? You can take your Very time. satisfying. Now, I'm making quite a large bomb here. And you can make small ones if you want. Often I'll do them in my restaurant as individual serves. But yep. Big ones like this are quite impressive and even great for Christmas. If you want to make a cold Christmas pudding, instead yeah. of making something hot, you can make something cold like this and then bring it out. Because in Australia, it's nine times out of ten, your Christmas day is going to be about 45 degrees with uh, the sun bearing down. So you want some ice cream. Now I'm going to pop this over here like this and of course the blowtorch. If your kitchen doesn't have a blowtorch, get another kitchen because every kitchen should have a lovely 100%. blowtorch. And you go around the outside like this, there's nothing better Brilliant. than caramelising like this. He smells, it's got a sweet smell yeah, to it, doesn't it? It smells very sweet. Richard, oh, this is gorgeous. It looks good, doesn't it? It really does. Nice and funky and I've got the lines going up and down, but you can do anything you like with it. And as I put the, uh, the blowtorch on, you can see the uh, meringue expands a little bit. Yeah. There we go, it looks great like that. Looks now brilliant. we just need to pop a few little berries around the outside like oh, this. Help you with that. You can I grab some get berries. As much there we go. Fruit on there as possible. More, yeah, exactly. More fruit on there, the better. There we go. That's what makes it nice and tasty. And then you can just garnish it up with a little bit of coolie around the outside. Here we go. Put that around the outside. As you scoop into it, you'll have Italian meringue, coolie, lovely fresh berries. Now we need a little uh, angel on the top there, a mint leaf on top. There we go. It, that looks lovely. Now, Rosie, that's a cracking dessert, but we don't know how cracking it is until we taste it. So we should grab our little spoon and just tuck into it. There's probably enough here for me, but I'm a nice bloke. I'm going to share it with you, Rosie. Now, I'm going to go in. I'm going to tunnel bore. So I get hard. Yeah, there we go. So I get some ice cream in there. There we go. Oh, I spin that spoon around. Oh, I get a nice big piece of ice cream, a little bit of sponge on there. Wow. All the heats. Mmm. That gelati is really good. Got great flavour to it. That is delicious. I got got a bit the of... hot and the cold. Mm. I got some brain freeze going on there. Now all I need to do is find a phone and take a photo of it. Oh. Nah. Why bother? Just to tuck into it. That is really good, hey. I reckon the Instagram people are going to miss out, aren't they? It's a year's worth of sugar, mm. but mm. that's Keep okay. Talking. You can have a little bit of it, but most definitely that's oh. going to look good on Instagram and impress. Mm. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs>